Stardew Valley is a weirdly addicting farming simulator with plenty of fun items. There's a wand that teleports you to your house, a flute that summons a horse to your location, and a key that lets you sneak into private property and watch the townsfolk as they sleep. But there's one category of items that always seems to be overlooked. Da <laughs> Rings! Each ring in Stardew Valley has a unique purpose. Late in the game, you can even combine rings together using the forge and wear four rings at a time, crowning you official diva of Pelican Town. In this video, I'll try out every ring and rate them based on how fun and how practical I think they are. Before we start, I'm not covering any of these rings for various reasons listed here. Okay, let's get started. First up, glow rings. Emits a constant light. They make it easier to see. Pretty straightforward, not being able to see anything in the mines is a recipe for disaster. Ah! The glow ring can also be turned into the iridium band, which is a far superior ring, but we'll get to that later. On its own, not amazing, but in the early game, this is a must have. We'll put it in B tier for now. Magnet Rings Increases your radius for collecting items. Again, nothing particularly exciting about this ring. Being able to reach items is relatively helpful, not necessary by any means, but this is usually one of the first rings you get and it definitely helps in early game. Another B tier. The Slime Charmer Ring Prevents damage from slimes. Slimes are the worst. There are millions of the buggers. The slime effect slows you down a ridiculous amount, and frankly, it's just insulting to take damage from a slime. This ring stops all of that. It is kind of situational, so it gets a B. Occasionally infuses the wearer with warrior energy after slaying a monster. The warrior ring lets you rage as a bonus action. <laughs> It doesn't always take effect, but when it does, you become a tornado of blades and disintegrate anything in your way. Super fun, great at killing enemies, doesn't help much with mining, but that was never the point anyway. A tier. Gain a little health every time you slay a monster. The Vampire Ring. Okay, hear me out. Knowing I'll regain some health by killing enemies definitely makes me a more confident fighter, but that's not a good thing because I get way too confident, get into way too many fights, and I die anyway. In my opinion, this ring is absolutely not worth it. I really wanted to use the Vampire Ring because I love the lifesteal idea, but 2 HP per enemy? If you take one hit from a serpent, you have to kill 10 enemies just to get that health back. Even in early game, salmon berries would be better for healing. Almost anything is better than this ring. D tier. Don't at me. Actually, please leave a comment. Savage ring. Gain a short speed boost whenever you slay a monster. Not totally practical, but it gets you through the mines faster and this ring is fun as hell. Drink some coffee, and with this added speed boost, you will fly through the mines. It's hilarious, it's helpful, A tier. Occasionally shields the wearer from damage. The Ring of Yoba will definitely help you stay alive. While the Phoenix Ring only works when you get friggin' bodied, this ring has a chance to work even at full health. Oh. Pair this with the Lucky Ring, and you'll be one tough bugger to kill, B tier. The Sturdy Ring cuts the duration of negative status effects in half. I'll admit, debuffs are frustrating, but at least in my experience, they don't happen very often. The Sturdy Ring certainly lessens the sting of getting nauseous for five entire minutes. This one's close to a B, but doesn't really make the cut in my mind. C. Monsters have a greater chance of dropping loot. The Burglar Ring is awesome. You kill a single bat and it drops 25 bat wings, 4 diamonds, a prismatic shard, a new Lamborghini, and 7 million dollars. There is no better feeling. In this game, items equals money, money equals progress. You'll inevitably be grinding in the mines at some point and this ring makes finding any item a thousand times easier. The Burglar Ring sits comfortably in S tier. 
glows, attracts items, and increases attack damage by 10%. Hey, remember all that stuff I said about glow rings and magnet rings? Put them together, add a 10% damage boost, and the sickest looking ring you can come up with, and you've got yourself an Iridium Band. You have to have one of these in every playthrough, or you're doing it wrong. 10 out of 10, wood band again. S tier. The top of the ring is made from enchanted crab shell! The crab shell ring increases defense by 5. It's not flashy, it's not gimmicky, but extra defense is awesome. The only reason it doesn't get full marks is because there are lots of other ways to increase your defense that don't use up a ring slot like food, enchantments on a weapon, boots, etc. Crab shell ring gets an A. When you defeat an enemy, they explode! The napalm ring. This one is an absolute banger. <laughs> Blowing stuff up is awesome. This is the most fun ring to use. The blast radius is kind of small, so it's limited in that aspect, but it still breaks rocks much faster than a pickaxe, and you can use the explosion to kill mummies. Solid A tier. When enemies damage you, they will take damage themselves. The thorns ring. This ring only works if you get hit don't get hit. Also, it deals similar damage to players as it does to enemies, but some enemies have like 500 HP. Players can only get about 200 max, so if you and a slime are given the exact same amount of damage, you're going to pass out first. This is gonna take a while. Bad. It's bad. D tier. The Lunar Album is safe to bring good luck to whoever wears it! Everyone is sleeping on the lucky ring. It's freaking hard to get, but plus one luck all the time? Legendary. Luck influences everything you do in Stardew Valley. Combine this ring with the luck bonuses you get from downing a ginger ale, and that time I got drunk and gave some guy a rabbit's foot, and boom! Even the unluckiest of days are yours for the taking. I literally never take this ring off, it's probably gross and moldy on the inside. S tier. The Hot Java Ring. Great way it creatures our chance to find coffee drinks on slaying monsters. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know this existed until I looked it up. Never found it in any of my playthroughs, but boy, I am glad I did. Enemies drop coffee. That alone makes me want to put this in S tier, but I won't for fear of getting dosed. Instead, I'll put it in A because you can sell the coffee or drink it, so it's practical as well as hilarious. The protection ring. Stay invincible for a while off a tiny damage! Am I the only one who didn't even know that you become invulnerable after getting hit? Cause I get wombo comboed by serpents so much, I feel like a ping pong ball with hurt feelings. This ring increases your invulnerability time by 0.4 seconds. That's not even enough time for my brain to register that I've been hit by something. You're not even supposed to get hit anyways. Use the crab shell ring instead, you'll just take less damage. Sorry protection ring, but when I was testing it out, I genuinely couldn't tell if I was wearing it or not. That's how little of an effect it has. F tier. Soul Sapper Ring. Get a little bit time to say monster! This one is actually pretty good for early game because players run out of energy so quickly before they find their first few star drops. In this case, I'd give it about a B. However, after your first year, just forget about this one, it won't help that much. And I'll say it again, food would just be better. Save your ring slots for something cooler. C. The Phoenix Ring. What was that? I came back to the It's a relief knowing you can mess up and you won't lose all your stuff, but. And I know this is a hot take, I do not think this ring is worth it. Yes, sometimes you get stuck between lots of enemies and you need that second chance, but allow me to explain my logic. This ring does nothing until you die, and I very rarely get that close to death in the mines, so this ring is useless 90% of the time. Meaning if you're trapped between 5 serpents and you're losing health rapidly, this ring won't help. You'll get your health back and just continue to take damage until you die again and then lose all your stuff anyway. It's never really helped me, but also I'm bad at this game so I can't really put it in D tier. This one gets a C. Also, if you die in the mines, just quit the game and then start over. Is that not what everyone does? Immunity Band. The Immunity Band increases your immunity by 4. Uh, it's alright, only slightly less useful than a crab shell ring. While the crab shell lessens the damage you take when you get hit, this decreases the chance that you'll suffer a debuff from enemies. So, yeah, it's a crab shell but worse. Almost good enough for B tier, but again, footwear is a much more effective way to increase your immunity, and it doesn't use up a ring slot. Well, that about sums it up. Oh, uh, actually, I forgot about- Did anybody know this was a thing? It's on the Stardew Valley wiki, but it's impossible to get in-game. I'm not totally sure what it does, but by the description, it seems that the ring just randomly decides to switch the music. Which is hilarious. 
Imagine you're out picking flowers and suddenly boss music starts playing. Uh, this one goes in the uh? tier? Well, that's all of them. In my main game, I combined the Iridium Band and the Lucky Ring for my first ring slot. In the second, I use a Burglar Ring combined with a Crab Shell Ring. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with this ranking? Have you found better uses for these rings that I didn't mention? Are there any rings that are crazy overpowered when you put them together? I'd love to hear your feedback. I know this is a bit different from my regular style of video, but I figure if my faves can do it, then so can I. Here's a couple other of my story time videos if you'd like to watch those, and I will see you in the next one.